application of integration in kinematics, a particle moves in a straight line from a fixed point. The velocity v meters per second of the particle after t seconds is given by v is equal to t squared minus 40 plus 6. Calculate the distance traveled by the particle in the first four seconds. So you're given velocity and you're required to get the distance. How do you do that? Now to know whether you're supposed to integrate or differentiate, this one will always help you given displacement v acceleration. If you're moving downwards, uh, for example, you're given displacement s, you're required to get velocity, that one is downward movement, or you're given velocity, you're required to get acceleration, that one is downward movement, you differentiate. If you are on upward movement, you're given velocity, like in this case, you're given velocity, you're required to get displacement or the distance s, you integrate any upward movement. If you're given acceleration, you're required to get velocity, that one is upward movement, you're required to integrate. So in this question, to get distance, you're going to integrate velocity. And since we are required to get the distance traveled in the first four seconds, we are going to integrate using the limits 0 to 4 seconds. So these are we are going to get displacement. So we integrate from 0 to 4 seconds. Then you have the expression for velocity, which is uh, t squared minus 40 plus 6. And you are doing this with respect to t. So when you integrate these, uh, you shall have uh, t cubed divided by 3. Then you integrate 40. You get 40 squared divided by 2. 40 squared divided by 2, which will be 2t squared. When you simplify, when you integrate 6, you get 6t. Then you must add the constant of integration. The square brackets are there. The limits 0 to 4. Now from here, you substitute 4, start by substituting 4 in this expression here, where we have t, substitute with 4, so you have 4 cubed divided by 3 minus 2, 4 squared plus 6, 4. You don't need to write c because it will get subtracted. When you substitute 0, so we substitute uh, 0. When you substitute 0, where we have t, you notice uh, everything will be 0. So now we need to work out this. So 4 cubed divided by 3 will give uh, 64. 4 cubed will give 64 divided by 3. Then subtract 2 times 4 squared. This will be 4 squared is 16. This will be 32. Then plus. 6 times 4, you get 24. And then you subtract 0. So working out 64 divided by 3 minus 32 plus 24. Use the calculator to, do, to work out this. So this will give 13. And a third. That will be 13 and a third. And since this one is distance, it will be meters. So that is how you're supposed to find the distance.